Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Now, here in Seattle, we've got a fairly well-known cocktail bar downtown called the Zig Zag Cafe. Um, years ago, they had a standard customer. Yeah, he seemed to be there like every day, at least every time I went there, he was there. And he always was having bourbon drinks. Bourbon drinks were just his standard. He went through all the bourbon drinks that they knew there and he asked Murray one time, gee, make me a new bourbon drink, something I haven't had before. And, and so Murray actually created a special drink for him and named it after him. His name was uh, Chuck Talbot and so they called it the Chaz Cocktail. It's a very bourbon forward drink with just a hundred different flavors going on there to take and make it more interesting. So we're going to start off with uh, two and a half ounces of Maker's Mark bourbon. Chaz liked his bourbon drinks, and that's why this drink has a little bit more bourbon than you might otherwise see. I mean, two and a half ounces, that's a, that's a bit much for a sing single drink. Two ounces is normally uh, the maximum, I'll put it, in a drink of a spirit. And then we've got four other ingredients. Each one we're going to put a quarter of an ounce in. We're going to start off with a quarter of an ounce of amaretto. followed by a quarter of ounce of Benedictine. Then a uh, quarter of ounce of Cointreau. And a quarter of ounce of orange Curacao. Now this is adding two different orange liqueurs to the same drink. Um, these days there's actually less difference than there might have been in the past between orange curacao and, and a Cointreau triple sec sort of thing. Cointreau is a neutral grain spirit with sweetening and orange flavoring added to it. Curacao typically is going to be a brandy base with orange flavoring and maybe some other spices and sweetening added to it. So there is a slight difference here and I think that's where they're trying to play off of, of get more of a slightly rustic flavor happening. Since it's all clear ingredients, we're going to stir this with ice. Strain that into our cocktail glass. I, in honor of Chuck, I picked a nice big glass here. And there we have the, uh, the Chaz cocktail. This one's for you, Chuck. <laughs>